As the first light of dawn broke over Normandy on June 6, 1944, American, British, French, and Canadian ground troops stormed the fiercely defended 50-mile coastline. General Dwight D. Eisenhower, just before boarding planes in England, commanded his paratroopers with the order of the day, full victory, nothing else. On Omaha Beach, American troops carrying full equipment pushed forward, huddled behind the protective fronts of their landing crafts, with naval gunfire smoke billowing in the background. Artillery equipment had been meticulously loaded onto landing craft tanks, or LCTs, at a port in Brexham, England, days prior. Pilots briefed for gun spotting missions over Normandy, ensuring precise support for the invasion. Army troops marched aboard landing crafts at an English port, a medic from the 3rd Battalion, 16th Infantry Regiment, 1st U.S. Infantry Division, moved along Omaha Beach, administering first aid to the wounded. Behind them, the chalk cliffs offered a brief respite before they advanced inland. From the USS Ankin, the French coast loomed in view as troops aboard LCTs prepared for landing. They reached Omaha Beach, brought ashore by Coast Guard manned landing craft, amidst piled supplies, stranded landing crafts, and fallen comrades awaiting evacuation. On Utah Beach, survivors of a sunken landing craft reached shore using a life raft, epitomizing the bravery and tenacity of D-Day.